What's going on my fellow rock and rollers? Now perhaps one of the most bizarre feuds and least rock and roll feuds of all time involved the rock band Smashing Pumpkins and Smash Mouth. What did they feud over? You'll find out in today's video. Now the DreamWorks movie Shrek was one of the most successful franchises of the last 20 years. When a lot of people think of the franchise, the band Smash Mouth comes to mind. The band will be featured prominently in the 2001 franchise debut with their song All Star shown in the opening sequence of the film, but they also did a cover of the monkey song I'm a Believer at the end of the first picture. Now Smash Mouth would claim that they initially turned down DreamWorks multiple times to get their music to appear in the film and the band only reneged after DreamWorks representative Michael Austin repeatedly begged them to reconsider. Now in a surprising twist, Smashing Pumpkins frontman Billy Corgan came out a few years ago and claimed that it was the Smashing Pumpkins who were first asked to provide music to the closing scene of the first movie. Corgan claimed that the band's 2000 song Untitled was supposed to close the film. So what did Smash Mouth have to say about Corgan's comments? Well, a spokesperson for the band put out a statement on social media saying, we assume multiple bands were asked. If it feeds Billy's ego to think they were first and let them think that, definitely would have been a darker approach, they conclude. Now, Corgan would respond to Smash Mouth's latest comments and stuck to his side of the story. During an interview about a month later on K-Rock in Los Angeles, he said the following about his history with Smash Mouth. It actually goes back to Machina. Corgan explained referencing Smashing Pumpkins' 2000 full-length album. Now in 2001 we had the song Untitled and I went to have a meeting at DreamWorks with Jeffrey Katzenberg and they were talking about putting the song Untitled in the original Shrek movie. So I met with Jeffrey who was lovely. I got to see Shrek in very early form where it was like half of it was still pencil drawings and it was amazing. You could tell it was going to be a big hit. And somewhere in the process and I never really understood the chain of command they said no. No, we don't want to use you. We're going to use Smash Mouth's version of the Monkees' I'm a Believer, which became a big hit. I was never bitter about it, it's just the way it happens in Hollywood, he'd say. Now the animosity from the Smash Mouth camp surprised Corgan who said the following. So 17 years later, I didn't say anything negative about them, and all of a sudden they're blowing me up on social media. What's so stupid about this story and what was kind of dumb to me was that I used to hang out with those guys because we had mutual friends. They knew the story from like 2002 on. So it wasn't like I was hitting them sideways. I told them the story. I don't know where the diss was. I never had a problem with the band, but this is the modern world of clickbait, he'd say. So would the fences ever be mended between Corgan and Smash Mouth? Well, he comedically put it, I think the Smash Mouth bridge is burned forever. Correct me if I'm wrong, there's Smashing Pumpkins, there's Smash Mouth, and there was a band called Smashing Orange that we once played with at CBGB's. Is there any other Smash Bands? I think we won the battle of the Smash Bands. Now there's some clickbait, red meat clickbait, he'd say. So that concludes today's video guys, thanks for watching, be sure to like button and subscribe, and as always if you have suggestions for future topics let me know in the comment section below, and if you guys want to support my channel, simply watch another video, or go check us out on Patreon starting as low as $2 a month, take care.